orthodontist will look at your teeth in a few minutes. Hi, Reyna. I'm Dr. Dragoni. Hi. So you're in sixth grade? Where do you go to school? Hmm. I still don't see why I need braces, Mom. My teeth look okay to me. Come on, Will. You have an overbite, honey. It's something that can cause problems later if you don't get it fixed. Oh. You're gonna be a metal mouth. Amara, please don't tease her. Have a good time at your scout meeting, okay? Kelly's mom will drive you home later. Okay, thanks, Mom. You're getting braces, too? It's not that bad. You can't chew popcorn or apples or carrots or gum or taffy or caramel or maybe that means I'll stop chewing my nails, too. One hour later. And at our next meeting, we'll be making Easter baskets. See you then. Bye. Is it okay if I drop you off first, Raina? Sure. Kelly, you and Melissa walk Raina to her porch, okay? Brace you guys. Last one to the porch is a rotten egg. Hey, wait up. Kelly. Ha ha. Missed me. Raina? Raina, ouch. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. What happened? Go get her mom, quick. It's okay, honey. It's going to be okay. My teeth. Huh? My tooth. Honey, oh my goodness. We've got one tooth. Anybody find the other? I don't see it. Nope, nothing here. Daddy, what's going on? Your sister's had an accident. Try and go back to sleep, okay? Milk. You put a tooth in milk? Sure. 20 minutes? We'll be right there. Bye. Hey, Mom. I look like I'm six again. She's in shock. We're lucky Dr. Golden is still at his office this late. So you couldn't find the second tooth? Nope. I'll have to take a closer look, but it seems the other tooth might be pushed up inside. Are you okay, Reyna? Uh-huh. I don't remember the rest of that night too well. Dr. Golden put the tooth that fell out back in place and pulled the other one down from out of my gum, where it was stuck. Novocaine, nitrous, and codeine in my sleepy, overwhelmed body made the whole thing seem like a weird dream. Mom, oh honey, you're awake. How are you feeling? Do you want something to drink? What's this stuff on my teeth? Dr. Golden said it's sort of like a cast. It'll keep your teeth in place while they heal. Oh. I don't feel good. I know, but you get to stay home from school. Later. Ah. You can only watch your sister die at Super Mario Brothers so many times. Reyna, I dropped by your school to pick up your homework. Mr. Cruz sent this along, too. Thanks, Dad. Smile. Yeah, right. The following week. Did you hear she knocked all her teeth out? How? Fight. Gym class. Down a stairway. So, Reyna, why don't you tell the class what happened? We've all been so curious. Uh, I was running and I fell. My two front teeth came out. Let me see. Um, what's that whitish stuff in there? Oh, Juan, let's leave her alone for now. So, how did it happen? Did it hurt? What kind of medicine did you get? How do you eat? Did you cry? Um, well, hey guys, hey Reyna, how you feeling? Hi Kelly. So what did she look like? Was it gross? Did she see the tooth? Was it all bloody? Did she cry? Mom, I'm thick of taking these pills. I know, kiddo, but you have to finish the prescription. Blech, I feel like throwing up. You've eaten nothing but ice cream, chicken broth, and codeine for a week. Of course you feel nauseous. Are you ready to go, honey? Yeah. So, what's Dr. Golden gonna do? 
take off the cast, do some x-rays, see if your teeth are healing. Okay, I wonder if my accident was worth the thing he ever saw. Honey, lots of kids have accidents. He's seen knocked out teeth before. My star patient. Glad to see you feeling better, Rena. You took quite a fall that night. Open. So we're just going to remove the plaster seal. You'll be able to see your teeth again. Uh-oh. Hmm. What? When you knocked them out, you must have damaged the bone above, too. Can I see? So when I put them back in place, they went up farther. I'm sure there's some way we can fix this. I look like a vampire. Let's look at your x-rays. See how the two front teeth sit up higher now? Can you bring her family back here? Sure. Looks like there's some nerve damage to the front four. Let me see. To an endodontist for root canals. Come on, sis. Okay. Try to save those teeth so she's not wearing dentures at 11 years old. Ha ha ha. Ha ha, you look like a little kid again. And I only just got my permanent front teeth about a year ago. But you lost yours. Amara, stop. Come on, girls. We're going to Toys R Us. Raina gets to choose a get well present. Hey. What if we got California games, huh? Aw, uh, come on. You don't really want to get stupid wizards and warriors, do you? How about DuckTales? Cool. Check it out. The Boots of Lava Walk. Can I play? No. Mom, why is Reyna acting like such a jerk lately? She's in pain, Amara. If playing Nintendo nonstop makes her forget about her teeth, I kind of think we should let her play. She has a lot more pain to look forward to, so try and go easy on her, okay? Hmm. And jerk isn't a very nice word. Chapter 2 what you thinking, Raina? I'm nervous about Girl Scouts. Last time we met was when I had my accident. Things will be fine. You'll see. So we want to see. Um, you don't look that weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just a little funny. It's not as bad as before. Wow. Are they going to get fixed? Well, I'm supposed to get braces anyway, so they're going to pull... They're going to try to pull these two down. So it's temporary? Don't worry about it then. I was afraid it made me look like a six-year-old. No, but you know what does make you look like a baby? What? Those ponytails. Thanks for driving me home again. Of course. And Reyna, be careful. Let's walk to your house this time. Good idea. I do look like a baby. But do I really care what anyone else thinks? Yes. Mr. Cruz, I won't be in class tomorrow. Here's my dentist's note. Okay, let me give you the chapters we'll be reading for homework. Missing school? Lucky. Not really. I have to go to an endodontist. What's that? I'm not exactly sure. Well, the name makes it sound like it'll be the end of you. Blah, 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 root canals, blah, blahs, blah, holes drilled in your teeth, blah, da, blah, dum, dum, three hours or longer, do, do, dum, doot, doot, novocaine, doobie, do, yada, yada, laughing gas, blue, blah, blah. Here, you can listen to the radio while we work. After that, it was sort of peaceful. I got up once the surgery was done to use the bathroom. There were clamps, a plastic guard, and gauze in and around my mouth. It looked cool. They had to give me several Novocaine shots because it kept wearing off and things would start to hurt. There we go. Once the roots in your teeth have been cleaned out, they fill the holes that were drilled in each tooth with cement. You're almost done. That's good. The cement is sealed with a red-hot metal tool, which I smelled as it accidentally touched the roof of my mouth before I felt it. Ooh, sorry. A few weeks later. Well, kiddo, you're almost 12. Yeah, is there anything special you'd like to do for your birthday? Can I get my ears pierced? Honey, pierce your ears? I don't know if that's such a good idea. They can get infected, they really hurt. 
Why would you want to do that? You've never been interested in piercing them before. That's because you always told me I couldn't do it till I was 18. But I think I want to do it now. Well, my ears got infected when I pierced them when I was 12. That's because you did it with a sewing needle and an ice cube. Yes, well... What if we wait till after your birthday to get them pierced? You are getting your braces pretty soon. Maybe that could be your reward and your birthday present. Okay. Kayla told me about a good jewelry place where she got hers done. And I saw these fresh earrings at Contempo the other day. Melissa has a pair of lightning bolts. I want to get some like Brandy on the new Mickey Mouse Club has, too. A few days later. Smile. Hmm. I guess we'll have to take a new Polaroid. Your mouth looks pretty different from the last time you were here. We'll start with the brackets on the two fronts and band her molars. That way, she can start with the headgear right away. Headgear? Sure, fixing your overbite was the whole point to begin with. But, but I'm gonna look like a nerd with headgear on. You only need to wear it at night. Jamie, are you ready with that? We're making a mold of your mouth. Open up. This might feel a little uncomfortable. Shove. The impression material has to harden, so just keep your mouth closed and try to relax. All right, you're done. Ten more seconds and I would have puked. Now for the bottom teeth. Time to open your presents. Earrings. Earrings. Ooh, cute. Earrings. Now you have to let me pierce my ears, Mom. I know, I know. When do you get your braces, Raina? Friday. What about your ears? When do you get them pierced? About a week later. Cool. So you'll look normal soon? Back at the orthodontist. That's it. Braces work through subtle pressure. Little by little, the pressure is increased. Kind of weird, huh? Yeah. And little by little, teeth move. My lips aren't used to them yet. You may experience slight discomfort during this time. Ow! 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 My whole head hurts so much. Why don't you bang it against the wall a few times? That way, when you stop banging, it'll hurt less. Thanks for the sympathy, Dad. Aw, come on. Let's go see a movie or something. Wanna come, Will? Yeah. Can we get popcorn, Daddy? Hmm... Raina's not supposed to eat popcorn while she has her braces. Eh, it's okay. Will can still have some. I'm not that into popcorn anyways. Of course, as soon as you can't have something, it starts to smell amazing. Ow. Raina, are you sure you want to get your ears pierced today? Sure, I'm sure. Okay, I just wondered because your teeth are hurting you so much that... Mom... It's different. I don't really want braces, but I want earrings. Okay. So what if I'm afraid of needles? I want to do this, I think. We do the piercings with these ones. Okay. We draw a dot where the earring goes. Now we pierce. Take a deep breath. Chagunk, chagunk, done. See? Very pretty. That didn't even hurt much, Mom. That's good. Saline to keep them moist. In a bacterial appoint- ointment so it doesn't get inge- infected. I'm starting to feel like a real teenager. <sighs> the next day. Ow. Hey, Jane. Yeah, oh, maybe. Let me see if my mom can drive me over to your house. Soon. Do you wish Jane hadn't moved to a different town, Raina? Yeah, sometimes. She was my best friend until fifth grade. I miss having her around. She's the only friend I have who's less mature than me. So what do you think? You look about the same. Aw, come on, Jane. Do I look cooler? Older? I guess. Hey, is your dad here? Maybe he could drive us to the mall. He's at work. Darn, I wanted to find some boys to hang out with. I guess I just wish boys liked me. So none of them do? Are you sure? How could they, how could they, with my face all messed up like this? Oh, whatever. There's got to be someone at your school who likes you. Well, Jeremiah likes me, and Abraham, and Elias, 
So do Dan and Andre and Matt P. Oh, and Aaron and Steven. But they don't count. I mean, cute boys. Chapter 3. On the last day of school, we all got our yearbooks. Sign my yearbook, Nicole? Sure. Have a nice summer, vampire girl. From Nicole. That summer was pretty normal, as summers go. Girl Scout camp. Grandma, Nintendo, Fog, car trips, orthodontist, oh, and also headgear. Come on, Mom, let's go get me some glasses, a pocket protector, and some Velcro shoes. Honey, it's not that bad, and you only need to wear it while you sleep. Ow. Lots of kids wear funny stuff to help fix their bodies. You probably just don't realize it because no one talks about it. Well, maybe someone should start talking about it. Maybe it would make us feel less like freaks. I guess in some ways, I am kind of normal. Lots of kids wear braces, after all. Lots of kids have... What the... Great. The first day of seventh grade, and I'm totally breaking out. Melissa, I've turned into a brace face and a zit face. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Everyone's going to notice. Look at all these little kids. Ah, tiny tot sixth graders everywhere. Unless everyone around me is too scared to notice. What's your class schedule like? Not bad. First period art, second period pre-algebra, third period language arts, fourth period social studies, fifth period lunch, sixth period gym, seventh period beginning band. Ew, you have gym right before band class? So? So you'll smell funny during seventh period. Emily, beginning band's gonna be in me and a bunch of sixth graders. I don't care what they think of me. Okay, welcome class. I'm Mr. Douglas. Is everyone sitting in the right section? Flutes in front, clarinets over here, saxes on this side. Oh man, this guy won't stop looking at me. He's pretty cute. Ugh, but if I smile back, he'll see that my teeth are. Christine, here. Jordan, here. Samuel, here. You can call me Sammy. Raina, here. First things first, it's time to learn to assemble your instrument. So, uh, you're in six, right? Yeah, why? What grade are you in? Seventh. Really? Seventh? Wow, oh my gosh, wow. That's enough for today, class. Practice those five notes tonight for homework. So, um, bye. Bye. Jeez, what happened to you? What? Come on, tell me. Hey, Raina. That evening. Now my hands hurt as much as my teeth. San Francisco. Summers are cold and foggy, but October is usually a sunny month. Wow, it's warm today. And like every year, this brought a feeling of optimism into the air. Like something good was about to happen. Maybe I'll do my homework early. Alfonso, from now on, you can call me the Ricker. What? Ricky? <laughs> hey, Mom, what are we? Heave, earthquake, earthquake, will, rattle, boom, shake. Will, don't just stand there. Come here, quick. Huh? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This was the first time my sister voluntarily hugged me and the only time I've ever heard her pray. And just as soon as it had started, it was over. Will! What? Thank goodness these bookshelves are bolted to the wall. They could have fallen on you, Will. Oh. Oh my gosh. Did you see the floor? It was bouncing up and down. It went up like a foot. Mom, some of Dad's file cabinets fell. Whoa! I don't think anything's broken, though. Your dad's still at work. I hope he's all right. We should turn on the news. The power's out. Oh, right. Everyone is out on their porches. 7.5 on the Richter scale. I heard it was 8.2. You folks okay? Your husband okay? Yes, he's just called. He's on his way home. Did you hear? The whole Bay Bridge collapsed. Mom finally found some D batteries. Partial collapse of the Nimitz Freeway in the westbound section of the Bay Bridge. 
Fires burning in the in the marina. Thousands feared dead or injured. After shock. I suppose we'd better get out the sleeping bags. We'd be better off sleeping down here in the living room, just in case. Like camping. Two hours later. I'm home. Dad, I'm so glad you're all safe. It's a nightmare out there. The roads are jammed. Everyone's in a panic. It's absolute chaos. Did you see the apartment towards... Towers over by 19th Avenue, they're cracked and crumbling. My buddy Frank lives in Watsonville. I heard that th that's where the quake's epicenter was. He hasn't been able to get in contact with his family yet. The phone lines are so overburdened, it's, almo it's almost impossible to get through to anyone. And worst of all, they had to postpone the World Series. It's so strange to look out over the city when all the lights are out. And it's such a nice night, too. Clear, warm, no wind, quiet. I might really enjoy this if it weren't for the whole gigantic natural catastrophe thing. This is weird. It's only 8.30. That's way too early to go to sleep. Yes, but it, it's too dark to do much of anything else, and we want to save the flashlight batteries in case we really need them. Beep! The microwave! The power's back on. We were lucky. Our power was only out for about three and a half hours. Light! Yeah! TV! Whoa! I thought the whole bridge fell down. That's nothing. 6.15 a.m. Ring! Hello? Yes? Oh, hi, Aunt Mary. Yes, good morning. We're all fine. We got the day off from school, but it wasn't very fun. And later that day, it rained. Hard. Earthquake weather was over. I'm glad we still have a home to stay dry in. The day after that, it was back to school. X plus 3 equals 7. Y plus 6 equals 11. X plus Y equals what? Nobody could really concentrate on classwork, though. Not even most of the teachers. You guys can have a free period. Just take it easy, okay? I'm glad you're okay. Me too. I mean, just imagine. What if we'd had an earthquake while school was in session? Are you doing anything today after school? My mom's picking me up. I have an orthodontist appointment. Why? Oh, um, no reason. Was he trying to ask me out? He was totally trying to ask me out. Good thing Dr. Dragoni's office didn't fall down in the earthquake, huh? Yeah, good thing. It's been a pretty strange year for you, hasn't it? Yeah. You knocked out your two front teeth, you got braces, you got your ears pierced, I survived a major earthquake. I guess in the grand scheme of things, losing a couple of teeth isn't the end of the world. Chapter 4. A few weeks later. So who's this boy you like? Shh. Don't say that so loud. Someone might. Hey, Reyna. That's him? That's the sixth grader you're into? Um, yeah. Wow, what a shrimp. Raina likes a tiny tot, sixth grader. Melissa, Raina likes a tiny tot, sixth grader. Raina likes a tiny tot, sixth grader. Karen, stop it. Rainy, Raina likes a tiny, mm, a tiny tot, sixth grader likes me. A few days before Thanksgiving. So, the bad news is your teeth aren't really responding to the treatment. We've tried to move the two front teeth back down into place with the braces. But after several months, it just doesn't seem to be working. So am I going to look like a vampire forever? No, and that's the good news. I think we should give you a temporary set of fake teeth. It would first require a simple extraction. Extraction, as in pulling something out? Well, yes. Even though you got root canals on your front teeth, they didn't seem to take. Your two front teeth are fused to your jawbone. Therefore, they won't move with orthodontics. Oh. So we pull them back out and build you a retainer with two perfect teeth attached to it to fill the gap. It's humiliating to let a doctor see you cry, but sometimes it can't be helped. Oh, but that's not all. Reyna, we want you to have a full mouth of healthy teeth. This is what I propose. The rest of your teeth are still fine. It would be possible, with the full set of braces, to move the rest of your top teeth towards the center. It would take a couple of years, and it wouldn't be cosmetically perfect, but it would be very close. What do you think about that? I guess we can talk it over later. It made sense to wait until winter break to pull out my teeth. Then, at least, I wouldn't miss any school. 
Someone is not paying attention. Still, that meant I had weeks and weeks to worry about it. What the heck will eating be like after they take my teeth out? I even worried during art class, which was usually my escape from reality. Hey, my dad took me to see The Little Mermaid last night. It was really good. Oh yeah? Yeah, you should definitely go see it. Maybe I will. I'm taking your sister and her friend to see The Little Mermaid tomorrow, Reyna. Want to come with us? I guess, but only because Emily told me it was good. Whatever. I'm too old for this Disney stuff. I'm totally going to hate this movie. I just know it. I'm totally going to... I finally know what I want to be when I grow up. What? An animator. A mermaid. And the part where the sea witch turns into that girl in disguise? Oh my gosh, I know. So good. You guys talking about The Little Mermaid? Yeah. Why? Have you seen it? Yep, it was really good. Before my two front teeth could be taken out, my braces had to be taken off. There you go. Feels so weird and smooth. When most people get their braces off, it's because their teeth are finally perfect. But not you. The last day of school came and went. Have a fun Christmas. Thanks. Have a nice Hanukkah. Usually, the start of winter break is one of the most exciting times of the year. But that year, everything served as a reminder of what was about to happen to me. Look, Grandma Gagnon sent us a package. Ooh, what is it? Peanut brittle. Finally, right before Christmas, the dreaded day arrived. Okay, Reyna, just try and relax. It's going to be fine. It'll be over before you know it. Just try to relax. Mom. Hey, Mom. Look at Mom. I'm going to jump. Are you watching, Mom? I'm watching, Reyna. Jump, bounce, hook. Mom, my tooth. It came out. Did you see it? Do you see where it went? Everybody start looking for a missing tooth. I don't see it. Whoever finds a tooth gets an extra five minutes in the bounce house. Nope, nothing here. We've looked everywhere, honey. I think it's gone. But I need it. You need it? How's the tooth fairy going to leave me money if I don't have my tooth? I'm sure the tooth fairy will still visit you. She's magic, so she knows you lost your tooth at the carnival. Lost your tooth, huh? Well, why don't we make you a stand-in? Now we'll write your name on it so the tooth fairy knows it's yours. There. You ruined it. The next morning. Mom, she came. The tooth fairy came. For Reyna, from the tooth fairy. How come her handwriting looks just like Dad's? You're all done, Reyna. How do you feel? Just make sure she keeps the gauze in tonight, okay? Only soft foods, Tylenol. You know the drill. Thanks, Dr. Golden. I'll see you in a week for the follow-up. Have a Merry Christmas. You want to go to get in bed, honey? All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. A few days later. Your new retainer is here. Get ready. Ta-da! Try it on. She looks pretty good, huh? Wow. You have to keep it clean, so she, you should soak it every night with denture cleaner. Once your mouth gets used to it, we'll apply the new braces. This retainer makes me look normal, Mom. Very normal. Let's see your new teeth. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Wow. They look great. Nice. I can't even tell they're fake. So you can just pull out your two front teeth? For now, yeah. But I don't want anyone else to see me like that. It's too freaky. So what does the actual retainer look like? Mine is sparkly and blue. Oh, um, it's just regular pink. Mine has a picture of Joe McIntyre on it. Happy New Year, class. Welcome back. Hi, Mr. Cruz. Thanks. Hi, Reyna. Wow, your teeth look very nice. Hey, everyone. Hey, we need one more player. Want to be on our team? Weird. Something happens when you smile at people. They smile back. His name's Sean. He transferred here a couple of months ago. He's on the junior basketball team, and he's really good at drawing. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a girlfriend. I'll have to find out. Hi. Yikes, that was embarrassing. My face turned totally red. I hope he noticed. Hey, Reyna. Oh, uh, hey, Sammy. How's it going? Heading to math class? Oh, um, yeah. Sure. See you in band later, okay? How's your tiny tot sixth grader boyfriend? He's not my boyfriend, Melissa. Whoa, what happened? 
I don't know. I, I think I might like someone else. Who? Sean. The one on the basketball team? Yeah, he's cute. Hey, Valentine's Day is coming up. You should ask him out. What? Me? Sure, ask him to the dance or something. I could never do that. Why not? I'd want him to ask me. Uh, a full week later. So, are you guys going to the Valentine's dance? Say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes. I don't know. Darn. Hey, Raina, are you going to the Valentine's dance? I don't know. What's wrong? Food stuck under my retainer. It feels so weird. So just take out your retainer. I can't. My teeth are attached to it. I'm not going to take out my teeth in front of everyone. Much better. I found out from Steve. Sean's definitely not going to the dance tomorrow. Aw, oh, man. But you should still go. It'll be fun. Me and Kelly and Karen and Emily and Nicole will all be there. Kayla and Juan are going. Well, maybe I'll go. The next day. So you'll be at the dance later, right? Yeah, I guess so, Sammy. Good, I have something to give to you. See you there. I feel sick. Later. Why do I feel like I want to barf? Hi, Mom. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I wasn't feeling good, so I didn't go to the dance. Ah, uh, well, sit down and take it easy, kiddo. But suddenly, I feel a little bit better. So the dance was pretty fun. You should have been there. Eh, it's okay. Your little boyfriend was standing around by himself the whole time, though. Ugh, are you serious? I told him I was going to be there. He's probably super mad at me. I hope he's not mad. Hey. Hey, where were you yesterday? Uh, I wasn't feeling good, so I went home. Oh. Well, anyway, here. This is for you. I'll open it later. Look, just forget it, okay? Just forget it. Later. Well, guess I'll see what's in the bag. To Raina from Sammy. Happy Valentine's Day. Sammy never spoke to me again after that, which I guess I deserved. But I had other things to talk, to think about. And still others. Everything's looking great. We can go ahead and put your braces on again soon. What? A brace face. I'm going to be a brace face again in a couple weeks, which means I'm going to go back to looking like a nerd again. It's so unfair. I finally get this retainer. I finally get to look cool for a while. And now I have to start back to square one. Actually, you've always looked like a nerd. Yeah, cool just isn't the word to describe you. You guys are cold. How come you're always saying things like that? Hey, you walked right into that one. You're the one who called yourself a nerd, not me. Who's a nerd now? Nobody. Oh, so you're a nobody? What else is new? What's her problem? Oh, she's just being a baby. And so, here she is. Let's see, honey. It hurts to smile. Hey, Raina, what are you doing? Mashing my face into the couch cushions. It's the only thing that makes my teeth feel better. Dinner time. But you knocked them clean out a year ago and had them removed again at Christmas. How could braces be so much worse? All of that was nothing co compared to the pain I'm feeling right now. The next day. Ow. I need to get my, stu my mind off my stupid teeth. Ah. Bang. The attack in Pearl Harbor prompted American forces to try and blah blah blah. Braces do stop hurting after several days. I can sort of chew bread again. But then, you've got an appointment with Dr. Dragoni on Thursday afternoon, honey. Ah. Every couple of weeks, you get them tightened. I'm starting to really hate this freeway exit. And then you start all over. Open. The orthodontist takes off the current wires off your brackets and puts new wires on. And then he tightens them. The ends of the wires are clipped off and we'll see you again in two weeks. Before I knew it, my birthday rolled around again. Okay, you are 13 years old. I know, it's crazy. It's time you kiss your first boy, I'd say. Huh? Come on, Raina. Everyone knows you have the hots for Sean, except for Sean himself. It's time to make a move. It's time to make an impression. It's time for a makeover. Ah, hang on. Wait. Do you know how to shave your legs? Um, yes. Good. 
how short is your shortest skirt? And you have got to start using some hairspray on these bangs of yours. Nicole, what is the point of all this? Sean's only going to go for you if you glam it up a bit. How the heck do you know that? He told me so. Sean told you? Does that mean you talk to him about what he likes in a girl? Does that mean you talk to him about me? Yep. Well, um, I guess if he really said that's what he likes. He also said he likes tube tops and fishnet stockings and bangle bracelets. Lots of them. And nose piercings and high-heeled boots. And so, there. Sean's going to love it. Wait a minute. Sean never told you any of that stuff, did he? Nope. We were just messing around with you. You have to admit, it was kind of funny. But what if I'd believed you guys? What if I'd really gone to school all made up? That wouldn't have been very funny. It would have been hilarious. You take everything way too seriously, Reyna. You've got to loosen up a little. Learn to laugh. Don't be so uptight. Later. Easy for her to say. What if it was true? What if Sean really would notice me if I dressed differently? Would I be willing to change just for him? So far, being a teenager is not fun at all. Chapter 6 The summer between 7th and 8th grade was mostly uneventful. The weather was cold, like always, so I stayed inside a lot. Flounder, don't be such a guppy. Pretended I've given Sean my phone number. Hello? Yes, this is Raina. Sean? Mooned over a certain someone's picture and avoided the obvious. Honey, it really is time you started wearing some sort of bra. Mom? As my teeth moved closer together, the fake teeth in the empty space were shaved down little by little. By the time 8th grade started, the two fake teeth have been replaced by one fake tooth. I just hoped no one could tell. Girl, you need to start using a better hair conditioner. My brother has that shirt. It's kind of a boy shirt. Eighth grade was weird. We were all going through puberty and at different rates. Hair suddenly curly, taller, hips wider, chest got huge, acne, gloomy. Everyone was very preoccupied. Hair, clothes, makeup, pimples, dieting, etc. Whatever happened to talking about cartoons? But the boys seemed to notice and acted accordingly. The only boy who didn't seem to notice what was going on was, well, guess. Sean's never going to pay attention to you. He's too much of a basketball brain. If it doesn't have to do with three-pointers or Michael Jordan, he isn't interested. Girls basketball team tryouts today. You want to try out for the team? Sure, drop and give me 25 push-ups. 12, 13, 14. I think I'm doing pretty good. Wow, that was really hard. I'm beat. Hello. Slam dunk. The next day. Shoot. So how was school, Raina? It was okay. I tried out for the basketball team, but I didn't make it. Basketball? Why, that's... Since when have you been interested in sports? It might be a good thing you didn't make the team. Basketball might have been too dangerous. Why? You could have knocked your teeth out all over again. So you didn't make the basketball team. Big deal. Are you even that into sports anyways? I guess not, but I've got to do something to get Sean to notice me. You should draw him a picture. You're good at that. What? No way. What would I draw? What would he do with it? What if I... Telgemeier? I'll take that. Mr. Fischetti, it's not what it looks like. Please, don't. Blah, 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 blah. Drawing, blah, 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 blah. Sean. Who's Sean? Well, you wanted to get noticed, right? In the future, Miss Telgemeier, please don't pass notes during my class. That goes for you too, Melissa. I can't believe that just happened. I was so embarrassed. Hey, at least Sean isn't in Mr. F's class with us. But now everyone knows I like him. What if they're all telling him right now? Uh, what if nobody cares? Well, that would really suck. My crush on Sean was old news to everyone else, but it still consumed my thoughts a lot of the time. 15, 36, Sean... However, something interesting was starting to happen. Hey, Raina. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Edward. You going to lunch? Yeah, wait up. Some of my friends had kind of, sort of, maybe, boyfriends. Boys who would hang around us during lunchtime and who would invite their other friends along. Not all of them were cute, and not all of them were very mature. 
wait, what's this? Next to my peanut butter sandwich? But they were good for practice flirting. Maybe I liked a few of them, and maybe a few of them liked me. It wasn't that important. What's the answer to number six? I'm not telling you. None of them were Sean. But boys were good for video game tips. Boys didn't give me any flack about my appearance. Ever think about tooth whitening, Raina? It might be a good idea for you. And they were willing to talk about important issues. So, are you guys ready for high school? High school? Man, it's hard to believe we're graduating from 8th grade in one month. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you'll all join me at my house next weekend for the end of school party to end all school parties. Cool. Thanks, Juan. Parties presented a slight problem now that I was friends with boys. Hey everyone, who wants to play spin the bottle? And so, my turn. Go Juan. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Nicole! Gross. Your turn, Jenny. You have to kiss Andrew. Ew, gross. Hey. Come on, Raina, it's your turn. Spin the bottle. I think I'll pass. I don't get it. How come you wouldn't spin the bottle earlier? You saw how everybody was acting, and anybody who had a kiss screamed ew and gross after. I don't need some boy to yell about how disgusted he was to have to kiss me. Besides, why would I want my first kiss to be with any of these guys? They're all so gross. The truth is, I want my first kiss to be perfect. The perfect guy, the perfect setting, the perfect song playing. But when I imagine all of those things, I imagine myself as being perfect too. And I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Well, good news, Raina. Your top teeth are moving together nicely. Soon we'll be able to remove this little fake tooth in the center and we'll put bonding over your new front teeth so they look normal. You do have a lot of gum damage, though. Let's make you an appointment with the periodontist. He might be able to help with that. I didn't even know there were this many kind of dentists. At the periodontist a week later, Yep, your gums are damaged, all right. The first thing you need is a scaling. A what? A deep cleaning. One shot of Novocaine and a couple minutes later. Whoa, bloody there, gauze please. Don't fidget, you're making it worse. I was in some of the worst pain of my life. Oh, could we get her a Tylenol or something? Come on, you're done. Rena, are you okay, honey? Did I puke? No. Here, drink some water. What just happened, doctor? Well, we did, a keep, uh, we did a quick, deep cleaning of the gums, and I guess we didn't put wait long enough for the Novocaine to work, and we could have given her laughing gas, but we didn't think she need... What? You didn't think to ask me if all of this was okay first? Ma'am, please, the other patients will hear. I don't care. My daughter just fainted thanks to your negligence. Let's go, Raina, and we won't be coming back. That was pretty awesome, Mom. And so, as you walk out of Aptos Middle School's doors for the final time, remember the things you've learned, the people you've become, and the friends you've made along the way. Hey, you going to Matt P's party tomorrow? Matt P's having a party? Smile, everyone. Say cheese. What about some pictures with your friends, honey? No, no, that's okay, Dad. My friends aren't a very sentimental bunch. That summer, I was a Girl Scout camp counselor for the last time. I also sat between my siblings in the car on a couple of long-distance summer road trips. Mom, Will's touching my foot. And I watched my new two front teeth appear. I removed the little plastic tooth from the center of your mouth because the rest of your teeth are so close together now. Cool. We'll bond the two front ones so they look normal size and shape the ones next to them a bit. And that's going to hurt, right? Actually, it's not. The dentist matches the color of your teeth to the bonding material, applies the bonding as a liquid to your teeth, then sets the liquid with a special light. Then, he uses a little buzzing tool to shape and smooth the bonding. What do you think? Not bad, huh? They actually look kind of okay. Glad you think so. But remember, just because they look normal, it doesn't mean you're allowed to start eating popcorn and jawbreakers yet. I know, I know. Turquoise mock turtleneck, stylish fleece cardigan, socks that match turtleneck, acid wash denim, 
school black shoes with fat laces, scrunchy, almost normal teeth, awesome earrings, giant backpack. High school, here I come. Goodbye, honey. Oh, you're so grown up. I can't believe it. Aw, oh, Mom. Oh, hi, Melissa. Hey, it's too bad we're not going to the same high school. You'll be okay. So you're not nervous? Not even a little? Nope. Oh, this is my stop. See you later. Later. Hey, Reina, don't forget to smile. Nervous, 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 nervous. Cool. Man, this is great. A whole new school with new teachers, new friends, new guys. Maybe this is my chance to start fresh. A new confident me. A new chapter of my life. Reina, over here. Hi, Emily. Hi, Jenny, Andrew, Karen, Juan, Kayla, Edward, Nicole, and person I don't know. That's Matt W. Hi. How was your summer? Low key. Really? Mine was a blast. Jen and Andrew and I went all over the city together. It was so fun. Yeah, remember Fisherman's Wharf? Ugh, don't talk about that. Oh, and the time you guys all came over and we watched Nightmare on Elm Street? Later. Raina, how was the first day at your new school? Exactly the same. Do we have any chips? I'd like each of you to write a 10-page double-spaced dissertation of Great Expectations by Monday. That's only four days away. And here's another text for you to read, which explains in depth the social context of the Colombian coffee trade in the 1940s. If this keeps up, I'm going to need a brace for my back. The next stage of my orthodontic treatment was a fairly entertaining one, designed to correct my crossbite. That's when your top and bottom jaws don't line up. To fix this, little hooks are attached to specific brackets on the top and the bottom teeth, and a tiny rubber band is stretched between them. I can open my mouth all the way. You'll get used to it. So tiny rubber bands join the contents of my backpack. Along with travel toothbrush and paste, dental wax, floss, floss threaders, a little box of toothpicks, and a tiny bottle of mouthwash. It was quite the spectacle when I went to get a pencil or whatever. Haha, ha, looks like someone's trying to cover up their dog breath. Come on, Karen, this is all stuff for my braces. Dog breath, dog breath, but I don't suppose the rest of you are going to stick up for me either. Excuse me, I'm going to go get a snack. Hey, I have a funny idea. One, two, three. Raina, come on, we know you're in there. Go away. Aw, oh, you know Nicole and Karen were just playing around, right? I don't care what they were doing. They pulled off my skirt in front of the whole school. At least you had leggings on underneath. That's not the point. They humiliated me. But you have to admit, it was kind of funny. What? I can't believe you guys expect me to laugh off getting pants in the courtyard. No, but forget it. None of you guys respect me. I've had enough. Don't start crying. Don't start crying. Are they still waiting for me to start crying? You guys want a reaction from me? Fine. Karen, I am not a dog. Nicole, I am not a vampire. Oh, come on. I haven't called you that since... No. And I'm not going to let the rest of you disrespect me anymore. I'm done. Goodbye. Nicole and Karen have teased me for years, and I have always let them get away with it. I guess dumping on me made them feel better about themselves, in some twisted way. But just by standing up to them, it's like I took away their power. After that, I essentially broke up with my old group of friends. It was an amicable split... We still said to hello in the halls and acknowledged our shared interests, our shared past. Hey, did you hear that our old art teacher died? Miss Scherf? Aw, oh, that's sad. I was a little lonely now and then, but it didn't bother me. I was happy to take life at my very own pace. And I thought I was the only slow runner in our class. I'm Teresa. I'm Raina. I know. What? You're the one who made the flyer for the freshman meet and greet, right? It was so well drawn. Wow, thanks. So what middle school did you go to? Aptos. Oh, there's a guy in my bio class who went there. Maybe you know him? His name's Sean. Sean? Oh yeah, I definitely know Sean. A little later. Hey, where do you normally eat lunch? Want to sit with me and my friends? Hey, why not? Chapter 8. High school was a lot more fun after I made new friends. In fact, I was so busy and distracted, I actually forgot about my teeth for a while. Well, Raina, I am pleased to report that we can finally remove your braces in a few weeks. Really? You mean it? 
Getting my braces off. Yes, I can't wait. It's hard to believe you've had them on for this long. But do my teeth really look fixed? They still seem a little funky looking to me. I'm sure once the braces are actually off, they'll look great. I'm sure you're just saying that because you're my mother. The big day finally arrived a few weeks into my sophomore year. Getting my braces off. First, we'll remove all your wires. I'll never be poked again. Then we pull off all your brackets. Finally, a quick polishing of your teeth. Ready to see your brand new smile? Yes, sir. Four and a half years of treatment, most of which was we pretty m m much made up as we went along, all to give you a normal, healthy-looking mouth of teeth. Yay! Wow! Why do they look so weird? They don't look that bad. You're just not used to them yet. But they look greenish, and they're misshapen. That stupid retainer with the plastic teeth on it was better than this. We've done the best we could, considering we basically rearranged your whole mouth. Anyway, I have something that will cheer you up. Why the long face, kiddo? Mm. Dr. Dragoni told you they can be they can rebond your teeth in a few months. Mm-hmm. Your teeth should look fine after that. If I could, I'd just hide my face for the next few months. Reina, you just got your braces off, right? Let's see. Neat. Did you study for a bio test? I was up half the night reading. Wait, wait. So you guys don't know anything weird? Nothing about my teeth? Seems bizarre to you? Mm, nope. Is this some sort of trick? You look cute. Yeah, come on. Wes and Bert are waiting for us at the front gate. We're all going to the mall for lunch. Well then, what are we waiting for? My life didn't magically turn perfect after that. Please try harder next time. I didn't get the guy, as they say, but Sean was always friendly to me. Hello. Hey. Instead, I threw my passion into things I enjoyed rather than feeling sorry for myself. I realized that I had been letting the way I looked on the outside affect how I felt on the inside. But the more I focused on my interests, the more it brought out things I liked about myself. And that affected the way other people saw me. Open. Dr. Golden reapplied the bondings to my teeth one final time. After that, I would have to start seeing my parents' dentist, Dr. Miller. Dr. Golden only worked on kids' teeth, and he had kept me as a patient much longer than normal. Take care, okay? Want to choose a prize for being such a good patient? That's all right. Oh, Reina, it's the end of an era. No time for sentiment, Mom. I don't want to be late for the school dance. And call me if you need a ride home. Have fun, honey. Thanks, Mom. Bye. One, two, three. Smile. The end.